So, I was at the movies the other day, and let me tell you, some shit went down. This is why when I go see a movie, I sit in the far back, like against the wall. Anyway, there's this couple behind me. Mind you, the movie hasn't even started yet. And all of a sudden, I hear... So I turn around like the curious white boy in me does, and what do I see? Some young girl's head as it goes up and down. It's funny because the guy saw me looking and said, Dude, my bad, I'm, I'm sorry. You good, pimp? Just don't get that shit in my hair. That was me trying to be funny and shit. Then this bitch had the audacity to say, <laughs> That's my line. No, fuck this movie. I don't want to see it that bad anyway. Just start the goddamn video. Um, I have a question. Why does it cost me half my paycheck to get some popcorn and a drink? It's like you gotta be a baller to like enjoy yourself at the movie. I mean, I'm a baller, so I, I, I be enjoying myself, but I'm still saying I'm just addressing the issues for everybody else. A movie theater is the type of place that if you go out on a date to the movies, and your date just so happens to say, Hey, oh my god, let's get some popcorn. On the inside, your immediate reaction to this is, Fuck, 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 fuck! See, when you've already been in a relationship for a while, you're already prepared. Right before you leave for the movies, you're asking your girl, Hey babe, make sure you bring the big purse. We gotta make a dollar store run. Another thing I don't understand, the movie theater is filled with hot food, hot popcorn, and plenty of people. So how does it make sense that it's always so goddamn cold? They would make an absolute fortune if they sold blankets at the concession stand. Already I can see myself packing my girlfriend's purse for the movie theater. Babe, make sure you pack a blanket, a hoodie, in case I don't feel like sharing a blanket. Make sure you got the snacks and a flashlight, just in case you lose your phone again, because I ain't looking for that bitch. Another thing, whose bright idea was it to bring a little baby Jack Jack to the movie theaters? Was the babysitter not available during your date night? Or did you just want the baby to experience the greatness that is the Hunger Games super early? Either way, stop it. That's the same level of annoying as the people that are on their phones during the movie. And I don't even mean the people that are talking on the phone during the movies. I I'm talking about those motherfuckers who be all the way down there and to the left and shit distracting me with that bright ass phone with that brightness on like max. Now me, I have a short ass attention span, okay? Meaning yes, there is a movie right here. But there's that tiny twitch in my brain that keeps saying, oh, shiny, shiny light. Last thing, I promise, then I'm done. Dear Mr. or Miss Ticket Ripper, how do you rip tickets for six to eight hours a day? I'm not bashing. Think that shit's incredible. I, I couldn't do it. Seriously, I would literally lose my mind. Could you imagine me as a ticket ripper? Down your hall to your left. Here you go, bitch, read the signs. Huh, how about you rip the ticket your goddamn self? Read the goddamn sign. And sit yourself some goddamn weird. Fuck out of my face. I quit. I think I've vented enough, but now it's your turn. Let me know what things annoy you about the movie theaters. Down in the comment box below. Don't forget to like the video. And guys, follow me on Twitter, wherever I put it on the screen. I want to talk to you guys on more than just Thursdays. Speaking of Thursdays, my name is really random, Brandon. And I love you guys. And I will see you next Thursday. I say my subscribers be the sexiest. Bow, wow, wow, wow.